Ed has gone. Ed, I hope you hope it has. Ed has gone. Ed, I hope you hope. Jesus. Ed is gone. I hope. Ed is gone. Ed, I'm hoping you're. Jeez, good lord. Can you believe that I actually speak English, like, successfully sometimes? Top of the morning, friends and family. What's going on with you wonderful, beautiful people today? We got eggs. <laughs> we got a clutch. Remember that clutch from last? Remember that clutch from Monday? The snakes are coming out of the eggs. We're going to check them out. Also got my bud Ed in town visiting. Wow. Hey, guys. Ed is one of our... Awesome Patreon, well, Ed's a good friend, he's also an awesome Patreon supporter. All these names scrolling across the bottom of the screen now, all our people on Patreon that are helping support, really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you, thank you. And let's see here, let's get these snakes. Eli, Eli, would you like to do the honors? You getting all your hand sanitizer on? You gonna take him out or you want me to take him out? Um, I want you to. You wanna take him out? Yeah. Okay. I want to take this one out. Okay, gently. Please don't drop it. Hold it tight. Got it good? Yeah. Yeah? Got it good for sure? Got this. You got him up? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put him on this table over here, okay? Super heavy. Oh, it's pretty heavy, huh? Yeah. Man, this thing is heavy. You want to feel this thing? Feel that. Tell people how heavy that is. Jesus, <laughs> that is heavy. Yeah, I can't That's open. crazy. Looks like most of them are out of the egg. Looks like there's one still hiding in the egg back there. I want to see them. Whoa! Can I hold him? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, I, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you can hold one, bud. You got your hands all nice and sanitized. Don't poke them with things. There you go. <laughs> My first baby snake. <laughs> That's his mm. first baby snake. <laughs> but what kind of those snake are? Mm. He's so cute. He's super cute and he doesn't bite. What do you like? What? What? Do you know? I know. Baby snakes. What about baby snakes? They, they're cute and they don't bite on that way I know. <laughs> Short and sweet. This snake right here actually hatched out of this egg. I know that because I kept close track of which snakes were coming out of which eggs and this snake 100% hatched out of that egg and everybody came over started piling on top of him or whatever and he's like screw this i'm going moving eggs and he switched like he's like a hermit crab he freaking, he's moved out of his small egg and moved into a bigger egg <laughs> how freaking hilarious is that i'm sure they do it all the time but i'm not leave a comment down below if you would switch eggs if you were a snake what i like to do is get them all set up in the same tub i get a paper towel nice and wet and I'll just throw these guys all together until they have their first shed. And even after they have their first shed, I'll let them stay together. I think it keeps them a little more comfortable. I actually try to get them eating while they're still together. I'll give them their first meal. And then, you know, it's kind of tricky, of course. I set the food outside the tub and get the smell going. And then they'll start kind of moving around. You'll find, because they like to sit in a little, tight little ball and all sit together to keep each other comfortable or be in the same little warm spot. And then I feel like it gives them a little extra security. And then once I feed them for their first meal, then I'll move them into their own separate tub and yeah gorgeous little clutch man i like the het sunset influence i mean some people will tell you that you can't tell i think i can tell so that's my own maybe my own wishful thinking but hey. so i guess we're just gonna sit and wait for these other ones to come out i bet money that that's an inchy sunset right there just gonna have to wait for it to come out how are you doing with your snake eli Snake wants to see Mama's snake. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay, well, we, we can do that. There's your baby. <laughs> what you think? What you think of that? He wants to hide from him. <laughs> That's your little baby. 
mom is doing really good too actually mom just uh has went right back on food and if she seems good like she has been i'll probably next season do a third year in a row with her and if she does produce a third year in a row i'll give her a, a year off regardless of whether or not she's ready to i think this baby snake one goes in nest come on okay Thanks, bud. There you go. Rub it in. Thanks, Eli. You're welcome. Thanks, bud. <laughs> so Ed brought some cool stuff for us to check out. Can we check yep. it out? Yeah, let's check it All out. Right, we're gonna check it out. All right, so Ed's got this cool product he's been working on for a while here. He actually reached back to me a while back. It was what it was a video. I had a video where I was talking about you're, cutting holes in you're paper. Drilling paper, yeah. I was drilling holes in the paper, and that's where, that's where you got he the gave idea. Gave me the idea of drilling the holes because I have the machine to do that. So I'm getting royalties on this stuff, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm gonna let Ed explain to you all about the product and and just check it out. It's pretty cool. It is a virgin natural craft paper. There's all kinds of craft papers. But this paper is raw, it's only made, it, all it has in it is wood pulp, uh, some natural fiber like cotton, and then a hot water compound. Nothing else is in it, no chemicals, no dyes, no bleaches. Most craft paper is actually made from recycled paper. This is made directly from wood pulp. Heavier paper too, you can actually see wood fibers in a lot of the sheets, you still see pieces of the wood in there too. Because I've been in the printing business my entire life, I know everything there is to know about paper. Blank newsprint, you know, that's bleached. Uh, regular newspaper that people, I know a lot of uh, breeders and reptile keepers use regular newspaper and with ink on it. And I know um, people have been using it for years, but I would never put my animals on it because I know what we put in the ink. I know what we put in the paper. I've been doing it for close to 40 years, and it's not good. I know they have new inks out there, soy base ink, but it's still a harmful chemical. And they don't tell you about the wash up that we put in the press to remove the ink, which is extremely toxic, flammable, and all that gets mixed in the paper. This is what I came with this idea of getting a better paper out there. And it's nothing magical or anything else, it's just, it's paper. It's all natural paper, but I could cut it and form it to any shape, any size tub, then even a hide for the hatchling rack. So I put hides on the hatchling. And if you don't like the hatchling rack, it's a little hide there. You could just tear it off because it's all perfed out. But it's much better for the snake. I've been using it on my animals for close to a year now. They all shed great. Um, they feed great. It's just a clean way to go if you're using paper. And it's really not that much money either and you could spray this stuff down too you could wet it and it actually insulates the tub where there's a little bit of humidity in it too so it, it holds the humidity pretty well i know my snakes have no issues and i spray it down all the time it doesn't mold if you're interested you know you could shoot me an, uh, an email at uh, cmcreptiles at gmail.com and just send me the dimensions of your tub yeah it's actually going to be taking some measurements for my big cages here so i can put some paper in here and get it cut out and we'll, we'll do that a little bit later but yeah I'm pretty excited to check this stuff out because it sounds like it's pretty good and it's from what I've been hearing about it from Ed and from what I can see when I touch and feel it, it seems pretty good. Any else? <laughs> 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 hey guys, I wanted to mention something else too. This, just so you know, this, you know, some people might think, oh, I got, I used that paper already, but it's impossible because you only can get this from a paper mill where they actually make the paper, and this is where I order it. And a minimum order for me, and I'm in the printing industry, so I have the connections to the paper. Minimum order is 5,000 sheets of a 50 by 40 inch um, parent sheet. So it, yeah, it's not easy to get. It's it's extremely difficult, and the mill is the only one that supplies it. It's not something you could pick up at Michaels or Staples or even Uline does not have this paper. Ed has left. Ed, I hope you're having a safe drive home, and it's always good to see you, man. And everybody else, I hope that you maybe find that useful and that the, his paper products can be something that you can check out, and it'll be good 
for you and that it wasn't a waste of your time showing it to you here of course of course it's not a waste of your time right it's good that's good stuff right all the snakes climbed out of the egg so i'm going to show you them and we're going to go through them one by one and just get really close in there and, and look at them real closely and see if there's something we can see there that others aren't going to be able to see without me and you in there I'm starting to freak out guys give these a look see here this is gonna be our normal. Potentially, these are all gonna be, uh, you know, 66% pos het sunset. Not potentially, they are all 66% chance for being het for sunset. And, you know, I'm not gonna try and make any calls on whether I can tell that they're het or not until after they have their shed, but I'll just let you guys make your own speculations as we check out these snakes. I think it's beautiful. And here we've got an Enchi Pos Het Sunset. I never get tired of hatching an Enchi. Well, it's not not like I've been hatching out tons of snakes in my life here, you guys. It's, it's an Enchi, right? <laughs> it's definitely an Enchi. Enchi number one, and we've got another Enchi too. This one, I think, is gonna prove out. I'm probably gonna say that about all of them, right? <laughs> uh, who hired this guy? So there's Enchi number two. And here's the Enchi Cinnamon Pos Het. These things are wicked, man. I hatched a couple of these out last season. And look at the oranges that just come through on these dudes. Even without the visual sunset. So freaking cool, man. I'm gonna try and move through these guys. These, these guys are, they keep trying to, of course now I point the camera at them, they're gonna sit still. They've been trying to crawl out this whole time. Making me liars, guys. This is gonna be a visual sunset. And possibly? And she, oh man, uh, I have to wait till they shed out. I should really not even be doing this until after they shed. But I'm just too excited. I wanted to show you guys. It's definitely a sunset. We know it's a sunset 100%. That's guaranteed. So we'll just say that. And then last, but obviously not least, I always save the best for last. Look at that. Look at that, man. Is that the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset? Am I just like wishful thinking all these genes into my snakes that aren't really there? Hey, it's possible. I'll have to wait till it sheds, of course. Check out the pattern. Check out the colors. Look at that thing, man. <sighs> Freaking trip out, dude. Holy crap. Look at the eye. Uh, look at that blue eye on these things. Or on this thing. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna put them away before I do something. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go see what these little turd nuggets are up to out here. Hey, turd nugget number one. What you doing, my guy? Daddy, I started way over there and squeaked this much. Look at the work ethic on that dude. What do you know? I know. Wood ants. Wood ants? Yeah. What about wood ants? That they crawl and they like wood ants. At our house, we have a thousand of them. You have a thousand wood ants here? Yep. And they're tiny. The bite doesn't hurt much. I've been bit by one. And it feels sort of like bee sting. Maybe even less worse. Like I get back to work. get out of here I want to give one more shout out to my friend Miguel guy has been extremely supportive and helpful in so many ways like great friend I'm really lucky to have that guy as a friend man he's been and there's so many good friends out there but he's really gone above and beyond man to really just I don't know I, I feel lucky I feel very lucky Miguel if you're watching like I know you, you are many times and thank you man for being you and doing what you do for not just for me but for everybody else that you come in contact with man it's good stuff i hope you guys are enjoying your day hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed seeing the cool snakes i hope that the stuff with that is helpful to some of you and i hope for the rest of your day and your rest of your weekend you're doing something with somebody you love and 
enjoying your time here on this earth. It's a short time we got here, guys. You gotta make sure you enjoy it. I am going to clean this sorry excuse of a mess of what used to be my garage. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see you next week.